tilapia jumps in shallow water. Stay tuned. Welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so this is like my nursery for some tilapia that I actually took out of my boot pan stock. As you can see, I'm not using the underwater camera. I, I think I did a flame on them a few weeks, if not months ago. They are roughly about one one inch, yeah, in height. Well, in height, I mean in length, right? So this is roughly our five well, probably about one and a half foot in container and they are about one inch i'm gonna still have to chuck this pass in i'm gonna still have to um take them out of this space the minute they reach roughly about two inches uh two and a half inches three so they're about I will see them start to decrease and one of the reasons for that is that um, tilapia actually jumps whenever they are in shallow water now I keep my tilapia stock um, both the blue stock the adults growing out and the fingerlings that are growing up into totes there's a reason why I actually keep them in totes uh, they are at the top of the water. It seems as if I need to do another water change. Alright. I'm going to be doing that shortly. Alright. Now, there's a reason why I actually keep them in totes and not in vats. Now, if I had keep them in, like, keeping them in vats, what, what I would have to do, I would have to actually get a cover to cover. Because vats is roughly about, probably about, um, Two and a half if not so much probably about this height away from the ground yeah about yeah about half of this away from the ground that's the that's the the height of the vat um in comparison to the tote the tote is roughly about three foot three foot off the ground the vat is about half of that right and these fish they jump Right, and if you want to keep your stock, you have to keep a lid on it. Now, as for my tilapia over here, I'm going to be changing some water soon. They're at the top. Um, th whenever they do see me, instead of jumping because the water is at a certain depth, they actually go down into the water, right, if they are fearful. But as far as the shallow water is concerned, because the water is shallow, what you find is that um, they tend to jump uh, more whenever the water is like less than three, four feet, right? So here they are coming up, right? And they are going really large, too, right? They are actually supplying my aquaponic system with nutrients so that they can grow. I'm going to be changing water in a bit, right? My bootstock it should be the biggest set of fish i have but i ended up losing them i don't know the reason why but i lost them due to illness so i started over my boot stock and as you can see um this is a tote right it doesn't have any frame right but the 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 the, the, the vat would be roughly about where you see this watermark up here so uh, probably a little bit more from the ground right so this is the swimming space that they would have so the chasing and the whole fighting thing which occurs within that space they will jump now being it that they are in this container and the container is half with water i wouldn't have any problem with them jumping because if they jump they're just going to fall back into the container so that is not a here and there for me the reason why the container is half is because as you can see it is collapsing and i did a video on this already right but the emphasis of this video is to share with you that if you are actually entering into the tilapia, you know, backyard, 
fish farming, keeping, breeding, trading, whatever you're doing with your tilapia. You have to keep a lid on it. You have to keep something at the top so as to prevent them from actually jumping out because they will jump out in the night, during the day, and it's not guaranteed that you will be there to actually put them in back. Right? This is my Jaguar juvenile Jaguar de, um Jaguar sickly, right? I'm gonna be making an aquarium for uh what I call it now. Uh, a, a, a tank that has a lot of aggressive fish such as Oscar, um Jack Dempsey, Severum and Red Devil. I don't know if all of these can hold but that's what I'm gonna be doing. But this is not to um prevent anything from going in. This is to prevent what is in coming out and so i put the mesh here because my jaguar sickly have the tendency well they have the tendency uh whenever they see something pass over the water they will just jump at it i've lost about four of them in that way i mean really large ones right and so that is there now the tilapia is somewhat similar to that the tap tilapia will jump out of the water and their jumping is not for food their jumping is just their i call it now their instinct especially when they are placed within a space where impurses actually pass very regularly and so in in in, in looking at your set up your placement the, the placement of your pond if you can actually place your your set up your pond um in a space where in which a lot of person won't be passing that that regularly to to give them that fright to you know have them jumping up all over the place um you find that you have uh a set of fish that is not all that skittish and they they they, they tend to jump um especially when it comes on to the mating you know laying of eggs and the male is actually doing his thing and the female is there hiding and the male is actually looking for the the female you know all of that right and it's not to say that you have only males jumping or females jumping both males and females jump right now i have the zinc on the top of my tilapia pond it serves dual purpose one it it decreases the amount of sunshine that penetrates the water and two it actually help to mitigate should in case they do decide to jump to actually you know get them to stay put right now um another set of fish that i have that is not till happier is yeah, they look, they look really, yeah they're demonstrating Telling me that they want water to be changed I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing that right now because um, you know, you know, a happy fish is a healthy fish. I want the fish them to be healthy, right? Right. So I'm gonna drop to about half, and then I'm gonna um, and this you tend to do this a lot. That's changing the water whenever you have a small system whenever you have a large system you don't have to change water that much because it takes a longer period of time for the water to become you know um unsafe for the fish i do have a filtration system and i have an aquaponics system right because the water is actually pumped from the pond itself up into the grow bed and it's the the, 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 the solids are held by the rocks or the media whatever you call them and the plant actually uses the solids so as to grow right but that's in my aquaponics series watch my aquaponics series and i share a lot about that why is my convict cyclic doesn't jump right i still have lids over it to some extent to actually shade it from some aspect of the sun that's the reason why it is the way it, it is right same too with my goldfish my jack dempsey do jump but because the container is deep too deep what you find is that the the probability of them jumping is like five percent right um water is being released really quick all right so i'm releasing the water to give them some amount of you know fresh water so 
this is just a quick video you know I, I wanted to share with you that you have to put a lid over those shallow spaces that you have your tilapia in you can't keep them in um let's say yes you can keep them in spaces like this you know tubs like these um up to about probably about one inch one and a half two inch max after which they're gonna start to jump and you might end up losing. some all right so this is just a word of advice peace out catch you next time bye bye